Hey, what is going on internet? Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. So today we got a very quick tutorial, but I want to do a tutorial on creating sort of like a film burn, sort of gradient effect here in After Effects. And this is what we'll be creating, and I'll probably speed this up to show you guys kind of what we're doing. But essentially, uh, we're going to manually create this sort of animation with a, a four color gradient uh, here in After Effects. And, you know, it's really cool because usually in the past I would use like uh, stock uh, film burns to do this sort of gradient sort of animation. Uh, but we can do this manually here inside of After Effects. So real quick, I'm gonna jump in here and show you guys how to do this. So the first thing we're gonna wanna do, I already have some elements in here, but the first thing we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna go up to Layer New Solid, and we're gonna call this one like Background, or you can call it Gradient or whatever, but we just need a solid, and we'll click OK. We'll bring this to the bottom of our comp here, and we'll go to Effect, and we'll click on Generate, and select the four color gradient. So it starts off pretty basic, and we have four color points in here. So what we'll do is we'll maybe set it to some colors of our choice. And what I like to do is like select the uh, top two colors to be the same colors at the top, and then go to the bottom here and set it to like another set of colors and make those two the same colors to start off. Uh, I don't know, I just think that looks cool. And then we'll go to like color two, and we'll maybe we'll make this one a little bit more purple. And we'll go to color four, and maybe we'll make this one a little bit more yellow and what we're going to do is we're going to able to stop watches for all of these uh parameters right here at the top and we're going to go from here so what we'll do is maybe go to like two seconds or something and we'll start grabbing like the points here and kind of moving them a little bit just very subtly or very fast depending on what you want to do so like if you want this to be a quick animation i would suggest maybe doing some big moves but for right now i'm going to do very subtle you know inward move so we kind of have like a very slight animation as you can see the colors kind of converge a little bit and then what we want to do is go into each of these color palettes here and maybe darken or brighten some of these colors to help kind of create more of a you know color changing effect which is something you know that will not be consistent in a or that would probably be consistent in a film burn so I'm just going here and changing the color so it looks a little bit more realistic uh, and as you see kind of change like that and then maybe we'll go to like four seconds or something and then you know we'll continue to maybe animate this a little bit more maybe we'll move this one over maybe we'll move this one out a little bit more maybe we'll move this one closer and then maybe move this one back up and you know we'll continue to maybe change the colors a little bit and you know look pretty awesome all right and then for the last trick that i think is really cool is the blend option here so let's go back to the beginning of the timeline so let's add a keyframe for that by hitting the stopwatch and then let's move to like two seconds again and let's increase the blend to like you know 500 or something like that and it'll kind of just blend everything together very nicely and then maybe we can go back to four seconds here and maybe we can unblend it all and that'll kind of just be kind of uh i guess a cool parameter to mess with to create some nice little variation so just like that, we've created a very nice sort of film burn gradient animation effect. And after a quick render, this is what we have. And I'll just scrub right through it. And, you know, I think it looks really awesome. It's kind of like an awesome film burn that you can kind of just, uh, you know, overlay on some footage. Um, or you can keep it as like, like a cool background for some text. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, drop a like. If you're new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button for more tutorials and After Effects. And be sure to hit me up at my social media networks. Those are links in the description of this video. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching this video and I hope you have a good day.